David in Kokomo, Indiana. Hey, Paul. I have a Mark Levinson 326S, 3, oh, 326S preamp, and it has gain operations of 0 dB, plus 6 dB, plus 12 dB, and plus 18 dB. So what is the difference other than volume range, and what is the difference between volume and gain? Well, okay, in our continuing education series. <laughs> and by the way, if you're wondering, wh why is Paul standing next to a pair of Vandersteen Quattro speakers? Well, you know, we take trade-ins. All our products that we sell in the United States are eligible for trade-ins, and somebody traded these in on a pair of Aspen loudspeakers. Our friend Richard Vandersteen, and these are going to be hauled off to the music room, and they're going to uh, sell it to some, some fortunate person who's going to get themselves a nice pair of Vandersteens. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, it's a lot of the trades come through here, and it's fascinating to see what, what people trade in. All right, the difference between gain and volume. Well, some of it is semantics, if you will, but in its simplest form, volume is generally something that we control with a pot. So we turn the volume up and down for a fixed amount of gain, and gain is how much possible difference between input and output there is on a fixed basis. Okay, what does that all mean? So a let's, let's, let's just take a power amplifier for a moment, or a preamplifier, your choice. Power amplifiers are a, a little bit easy. Well, let's do a preamp because preamps have volume controls and power amps don't. There you go. All right, we're gonna do a preamp. So typically a preamp might have anywhere from 12 to 20 dB of gain. So let's start with that. What does that mean? Well, the math on 20 dB is the easiest, so we're gonna use that. That means that for a given input signal, the output will have a specific amount of gain. It's going to be bigger than the input. And for 20 dB, that's a gain of 10. So for one volt in, you're going to get 10 volts out. That's our gain. Okay, does that make sense? Put one volt in, get 10 volts out. And your Levinson is changing that amount. So that for one volt in, maybe, uh, what is it, 18 dB? Well, that's close enough to 20. You get 10 volts out for, and I don't know uh, what, what else. Oh, there's 12 dB and 6 dB or something. 6 dB is a doubling of voltage. So for one volt in, you get 2 volts out. So the last one here, one volt in, you get 10 volts out. And that's what's happening. It's, it's how much possible voltage can you get out for a given input voltage. That's gain. Volume, on the other hand, is within that gain range, how much of that are you going to use, okay? And that's where we put our potentiometer, our volume control, which says, I'm going to vary the amount of input that is actually coming in. So in a preamplifier, we would put the volume control, the pot, the potentiometer, before the gain stage, right? So we have this amplification stage that one volt in, 20 volts out. There it is. We have a volume control, which is the potentiometer, which goes up and down, and we're gonna put the input into it. So in this case, I'm gonna put one volt into my potentiometer, and if I turn it all the way down, I got nothing coming out of the potentiometer, so nothing in, nothing out. I can turn it up a little bit. Now, I have one volt coming in, and at the output of my pot, I have uh, 0.2 volts, okay? A twentieth of what I put in. 0.2 volts 
times 10, that's the gain we set, is going to give me what? 2 volts out. So now I've gone from 0. I turned the pot up a little bit. I got 2 volts out. And if my power amplifier has a maximum input voltage of 2 volts, I've just turned the pot up this much and I maxed my power amp out. What does that mean? Well, since we want the potentiometer that controls the volume when it's getting close to maxing our power amp out, you want that all the way. You want that at about 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So I have too much gain, way too much gain, because I'm only using a little bit of the potentiometer. Take the gain down. Now as I turn it up, I'm taking advantage of the full range of my volume control to give me the appropriate output with a specific amount of gain. Hope that helps. Thanks. Thank you.